So I'm gonna go ahead and do a makeup and hair tutorial for homecoming. I am going to homecoming this year because my boyfriend is a senior in high school so it's our one last homecoming and I wanted to make a tutorial for you guys. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be wearing the exact makeup and hair because I wanted to film beforehand because our homecoming, our homecoming isn't until Saturday and I thought that it's kind of late for homecoming so I wanted to get video up sooner so that way more of you could actually use it hopefully if your homecoming hasn't already happened I actually decided to straighten my hair I haven't really ever done a straight hair tutorial so um, it's pretty self-explanatory but there are a few tips I like to include to make it a little bit more volumized and all that so I hope that you enjoy this tutorial and let's get started with the video all right, so first I'm gonna go ahead and prep my face by moisturizing and priming. So I'm using the Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisturizer, and it's perfect for just giving you a moisture boost without leaving any oiliness behind. And then I go in with a primer by Smashbox just to make sure that all of my makeup and foundation stays on throughout the day. Next, I'm going in with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer just to even out my skin tone. So I'm just putting dots all over my face and blending it with my fingers. And it's really, really good coverage and a very natural finish. To start off the eye look, I'm going in with the shimmery kind of coppery champagne color and just putting it on my lid. Next, I'm applying this matte brown color, which is the color peanut butter. And I'm just putting this kind of in my crease as a transition color and kind of blending it around this area. Next, I'm going with Truffle, which is a matte brown color. And I'm just running this along my crease with a skinnier stiff brush, like so. Once I'm done with my crease, I'm going to go in with a blending brush and just blend out all the harsh edges. Then to brighten my lid more, I'm going in with this gold shimmer color in caramel and just patting that on my lid just to create a division between my crease and lid color. Next, I'm going in with some black eyeliner and just lining along my lash line. And this just makes my eye color pop more and defines my eyes. Once I've done that, I'm going in with a liquid liner and I'm just using this felt tip liquid liner to line the inner corners of my eyes. And I kind of like to elongate the inner corners and it just opens up your eyes even more and adds to the cat eye element. And so I'm also adding a cat eye and I'm just kind of continuing the line of my lower lash line and then bringing it back to my upper lash line, like so. And then to make it look more dramatic, I'm just going in with some mascara and you can also add falsies if you want to. I actually have lash extensions on so that's why I decided to not use falsies. And then I'm adding some mascara to my lower lash line. Next I'm going in and just filling in my brows. I'm using my all time favorite eyebrow product and that's the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in chocolate. So I'm just doing my typical eyebrow routine and making it a little bit more dark and dramatic just because it is homecoming. So once I finish my eyebrows, I'm going in with the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. And this concealer is probably one of my all-time favorite makeup products. Just a little bit of product goes a long way, so it's perfect for a formal event, especially because it has super good coverage. And this is great to use to kind of cover up any fallout from your eyeshadow and really just brighten up your face. And it's really good with a good contour too. So next I'm going in with a contour stick, a highlighter, and a blush. So I'm just using the contour stick to line along my cheekbones and then just blending it in with a brush. And this is a great product for long lasting contours because it is a gel based product because powders tend to fade off easier for me. Then next I'm applying a blush and I'm struggling and you know it's difficult when you can't even open things so last resort is to open it with your mouth but it works every time. So I went ahead and just added some blush just to add more color and then just to brighten up my face even more I just went in with con 
foundation concealer 201 by Clinique once again and it creates kind of a dewy finish. And then with the highlighter bronzer, I'm just going ahead and adding some shimmer and color to my jawbone and along my neck just to match the color to my face. Then as a finishing touch, I'm going in with some lip color and just to make sure my lips are soft, I am going with my favorite lip balm ever by Nivea and then a really easy wearable YSL lipstick I always lean towards. So yeah, just to add a little bit of color. Alright, so next moving on to the hair look. So I'm starting out with just second day hair and I'm using dry shampoo and a hairspray today. So what you want to do is you want to start off with some dry shampoo. And I go a little crazy, but dry shampoo honestly does wonders as far as it comes to volume. So I add a whole bunch and around my roots mainly. And then I kind of just flip it back and forth and scrunch it and just make sure it gets really in there. So before straightening my hair, I just want to section the top half off just to make sure that the way I straighten it is fully straightened so there's no parts that I miss so everything is super sleek and straight. So there's really no particular technique to this. Um, I mainly like to flatten kind of the middle bottom but not the very very tops because no one sees that part. So just making sure that for the most part everything that you see is straight and yeah. So once I've done that, I'm just going to tie that back so I can work on the top half of my hair. Next, I'm straightening the rest of my hair pretty much the same way. Um, just making sure everything that you see is straight and there's no lumps or bumps. But you don't want to straighten directly where your roots are just because that can cause your hair to be really flat. But yeah, this is basically what my hair looks right after I straighten it. So to add a little bit of texture and volume, I'm going in with this hairspray. And what I like to do is kind of comb my hair back around my face. So that way it's going upwards and it's not just laying flat on my scalp. So it adds a little bit of volume in that way. So yeah, that's basically it for the hair and makeup look. I really hope that you found this video to be helpful. And if you are going to homecoming, have an amazing time. And if not, you can always use this look for under the formal event or even like an everyday thing. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more. And hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye.